Hey guys, it's Danny, and I'm back once again with a tutorial. After like two years, I'm actually doing it again. That's cool. Uh, anyway, this is like the second time I have to record this tutorial, so hopefully I'll get it right this time. But, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to kind of touch on, like a long time ago, I made a tutorial on making a lead with uh, the built-in plugin 3x OSC in FL Studio. And I'll be honest, that tutorial was pretty awful. So what I'm hoping to do is just kind of... I, I've changed a few things up. Uh, just hoping to make it better overall. Uh, you know, better to... Easier to understand, clearer. Uh, just an overall improvement. But, okay. Anyway, yeah. So, one thing that I think some people don't understand about this type of sort of super saw type dance lead is that it's actually not just a single note melody but chords uh as you can see here i have at least four notes playing at all times for each note uh so this is the basically the basically this is the sound that we're going to be making uh let me go ahead and play that for you. Now here's what it sounds like with just the single note melody. As you can see, the chords really add a lot more fullness to it, a lot more substance to the actual melody. So that's something to bear in mind when you're making these melodies with this type of lead, because in a single note melody, it doesn't sound all that great. Okay, so... What you're going to want to do first is open up a 3x oscillator channel plugin. As, as you can see, I've already done this, but I had to do it all over again. So, I'll just name this lead once again. And go ahead and assign that to a free mixer track. Now I'll go back into 3x oscillator and for this type of lead you're going to want to choose all uh, saw oscillators which is this one right here and we're going to detune them a bit so in the fine tune section go ahead and move oscillator 2 up just a tiny bit and oscillator 3 down just a tiny bit. Now for the stereo detune you can turn all the oscillators up to around 25% or so. And with the stereo phase randomness, go ahead and put that one all the way up. So this is what it sounds like so far. Uh, sounds just kind of like a detuned saw, really thin. But what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the function tab, choose fat eight voices, and uh, turn the delay feedback all the way up, the pan centered, the echo to 10, and the pitch up just a tiny bit. I would put it on maybe plus seven cent. Uh, and what this is gonna do is it actually is supposed to work like a delay, but the way it's set up now is that it does it immediately. So it actually plays about three notes at a time. Just the, the main note that you're hitting stands out the most. So I'm playing a C right now and you can see the notes around it are also being played. But the C is what stands out, and that's what matters. So this is what it sounds like now. It's getting better. So move over to insert. We're going to go to the volume envelope. Or, yes. That's right. Uh, put the stain all the way up. Leave everything else. Um, I bring the attack all the way down. But we're going to move it forward just a little bit, and here's why. When the attack is all the way down, the any note you play has a bit of a pop at the beginning of it. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is move that forward just a tiny bit. And it just, it smooths out the... Just smooths out the lead and uh, makes it fit this style. I would actually also bring the release down just a little bit. Okay. Now move over to the mixer track, where you put the lead. 
And the first thing I would add would be a EQ. And for this type of lead, the really the high frequencies are what matter and what stand out. You can see that there's barely anything below, you know, 100 to 200. So I'm going to take, what I did is I created this band to be a high pass band. I'm just going to high pass it up to maybe 120 or so. And it doesn't really sound any different. And what this will do is it'll just keep the lower frequencies from uh, starting to get muddy and mixed up with the rest of your mix. So that just helps clean things up a bit. Next thing I would add would be to add some delay. And I like some three-step delay just because it syncopates with most melodies nicely. I'm going to bring the volume down. I like ping pong delay. If you pan that all the way, it'll delay like alternating in each ear. You can probably hear that. That's pretty good. Uh, then I would add some reverb. And remember, this is all to taste. Uh, this is just what I like to do, but I would definitely encourage you to try out your own thing and decide what works best for you in your own mix and your own songs. Anyway, I'm gonna, but yeah, so add some reverb. And that's pretty much the, all it is to make that sound. Uh, oh, one thing I wanted to mention, uh, in the pitch tab, move over to this LFO, bring the attack all the way down, uh, the speed is far down as you can go, so it's like that. Then I'll turn the amount up just enough, and what this does is it, it just adds some more detune to it, creates a fuller, thicker sound. That's pretty good. And there you have it. Here's what it sounds like. That is the wrong one. That's the one I did last tutorial, but we will get there in just a second. And just, you know, feel free to adjust these settings to what you think sounds good. I remember last time I tried to record this, I actually added a little bit of high end. Just to add that extra sparkle to it. Now what I like to do, and let me just put this back, is actually, when you go to this cutoff tab, uh, put the sustain all the way up, the de decay, you can leave that be, the hold, bring that back, you want to make sort of like a wedge shape. Uh, kind of like that. I would put the the release actually kind of further up. But then, as you turn the amount down, it turns it into a pluck, which is pretty cool. And it's what's really cool to do is you can just automate that. And it's great for things like build-ups or just whatever you want to do with it. Anyway, guys, that about does it. I really hope this recording turns out okay, but uh, if it does, I would encourage you to like, comment, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.